Hi everybody, hope you're all okay today. Today I am doing a video that was requested. Um, I'm doing a cookies for beginner uh, tutorial. Um, I am actually, when I was thinking about it, I decided I'm going to show you a half cut crease uh, just because it's easier, it's more beginner friendly. You don't have to bring the shape right out. Um, it's only the first like three quarters of the eye that we're creating that shape on. And I just thought it was a bit more beginner friendly. If that was completely not what you was wanting and you were wanting the full cut crease, by all means, let me know and I'll do that for you. I just think this one is a lot more beginner friendly. So as we know I'm doing the palette roulette um, <laughs> at the moment I'm on the Huda um, Ruby Obsessions palette which is like that. Now even though that shimmer there looks really pale it's actually not. <laughs> it's not very pale at all um, and we've not really got a very deep shade so I'm gonna go into two other palettes that are in this month's rotation so I'm gonna use the Laritzi one but I'm just gonna use this really dark one on the edge just for the outer corner to darken everything up and then in the Revolution Pro palette I'm just gonna be using this peachy color which looks gold on camera but it's more like a peachy gold um, for the actual shimmer uh, just because in the Huda palette there's nothing that gives that definite line although it looks nice as a cut crease and um, I wanted something that was a bit more obvious so you could see exactly what I was doing rather than a shimmer that pretty much blends into the rest of the colours. So of course any of this can be used with any colours that you want you're not limited to the colours that I'm using or anything like that there's absolutely no rules to it as you can probably tell I've already done my base makeup uh, just because I was waiting for the dryers I thought I might as well do it I normally do eyes first but I've done it a bit reverse today <laughs> so I'm gonna set well I'm gonna put some loose powder under my eyes just to catch as much fallout as possible so it's not going onto my cheeks and things so I'll just do that I'll just be a second so if you are doing it this way as well where you've done your base first and you're not wanting the fallout um, put the powder on with a brush and um, the brush I used was this one um, then you're not packing it in you're not getting where it's like a more of a baking process and um, it's not gonna get as dry under the eyes and things like that as if you was really forcibly pressing that powder in we're just purely wanting it to catch the fallout so at the end with a big fluffy brush we can just wipe it all off and our makeup is fine underneath so I've already put my eye base and concealer on um, I'm going to go in with this darkest colour first I'm going to concentrate it just above the crease um, where I'm wanting our fake crease to, to lie and so I'm just putting a bit on my brush to start with I'm just going to do the outer corner and then I'm going to open up my eyes and I'm just going to sketch out so into that line is where I'm going to put um, the concealer later on so I know I need to work above that so it's going to load up a bit more and start building up that colour now you don't have to be overly neat on the bottom because we are going to correct it all with concealer anyway. So I'm going to get the rough shape that I want and I'm just going to copy it onto the other eye. So now I'm going to take a blending uh, brush and I'm going to take that peachy colour at the bottom. I'm just going to run this just into the shade but slightly above it at the same time just to blend it all in up to like just below the brow.
So we've got our main shape there and we've got it all fused out as we go up. I'm just going to go into the Laritzi palette into that darker brown shade. I will be coming back into this later as well. Um, I'm just wanting to deepen everything up just a little bit. So I'm just going to go mainly in that outer corner and just into where the crease colour just starts. And again, just blend it slightly. This one's not too bad. It's with it being that dark colour, I only used a tiny bit on my brush, so it just kind of blended itself as we went. But you can see there's just a, that bit more definition on this eye. So that's all our base done. So now I'm going to cut out the crease. I'm personally today going to use Revolution revolution conceal and correct concealer in white um you don't need a white um just any concealer that's pale really um you just wanting to get a clean crisp um base for your lighter color so i've just put some on the back of my hand i tend to try and put more than I know I'm going to need just so I'm not having to put the doe foot back on my hand um, when there might be colour off the brush and things like that because sometimes I forget to just wipe my hand before I do it um, and then you get all colours in your nice white concealer. <laughs> so I'm just using a flat brush that's got a very thin tip. Um, can be like absolutely anything that you're comfortable using as long as it's um, just got that bit of precision to it it'll be absolutely fine so what I always do when I'm doing any form of cut crease or um, halo eye anything like that I like to do along the bottom of the lid and then look up and it transfers a line where you pretty much your natural crease is and it just gives you that guide to follow where you can then bring it slightly higher if you wish to um, but it's just a nice starting point so we're just going to take it along the bottom and out to as far as we want it doesn't need to be neat and um, you just need to match it up to the other eye so that's our base i've got it out to where i want it to go and i'm just going to look up and that will give you a line as you see <laughs> and then all you need to do then is just follow that line So I'm going to leave mine there for today just because I've got the school run to do in a bit um, and I don't want to look like I'm in full glam and uh, I just wanted to show you so I've left it pretty much where that baseline was and um, you can keep going and uh, just use that as a base and if you just take your brush slightly above the line each time it's going to keep that general shape um, as you guide but you can take that as out as as blown out as you like and um, with the edge I like to so I'm swearing at you I like to tap the edges just so it's not a solid line um, just on that outside corner we are going to come back to that in a second with that darker shade anyway it's just I find it a bit easier that way and um, so I'm just gonna now match up the other eye and that's the tricky bit So that's both eyes done and um, I personally like to set this now just with a light shade um, but that's just personal preference you don't have to and um, so I'm just gonna go in to the revolution palette and just the shade tone here just to set it 
And just so you're under <laughs> no false security, at this point is normally the point that if someone's going to call around at your house, they're going to knock right now, whether it be the postman or whatever, well, she'll look like a crazy person. So now we get into the shimmer. Of course, you can use a mat, just a lighter coloured mat if you wish. Um, I personally like shimmers with uh, cut creases, but it's completely up to you. So first off, just on the main of the colour, I'm just going to use my finger just to pack in as much of that shimmer as we can um, before we need our brush. So... When we've got most of it laid down, I've just cleaned off that original brush we were using with the concealer and I'm just going to use this just to get right into those lines with the shimmer. And then I'm just going to use a large packing brush just to get the shimmer on the rest of the eye. Don't worry too much about this outer corner because we are going to blend that in to that darker outer corner colour in a second. So that's it so far. Don't worry about anything that's like going under the eyes. Um, that's going to happen. We're going to sort the under eye out in a second. Um, but yeah, it's one of those looks where you kind of need to trust the process. It will come right. Um, so now I'm going to go back into the Luritzi palette. I'm going to take that darker shade again. I'm going to go into the outer corner with this brush and then what I'm going to do is what's left over on the packing brush I'm just going to then merge the two into each other. So we don't want loads on the brush we just want a tiny bit just to darken it up and just go slightly into that shimmer and then we're just going to take what's left on our brush and just go over the edges into the dark. And that just stops it being that really harsh solid line as the, the shimmer and the matte meets. So if you put um, setting powder under your eyes, you can now just flick that off with a big brush. So now we're just going to marry up what we've done on top underneath. So we're going to use um, all three palettes uh, but mainly the Huda and the Luritzi for this. To start just with the shimmer I'm just going to put that in the inner corner and just coming down into the uh, lower lash line just at the corner as well. So we're going to start with our palest colours and build up. So we're going to start with that peachy colour. We're going to go under the eye and come down quite low with this one. And like on top, everything we do, we're going to mirror on the other eye. I personally find it easier to do one step on one eye and then copy it. Um, you may find it easier to do, fully do one eye and then do the other one. It's completely up to you. So now we're going to go into the medium shade from the Huda palette. This was the more like crimson-y colour. This one, we are putting it reasonably low down, but we're concentrating it more at the lash line. And then our darkest colour, we are going to concentrate on the lash, lash line apart from the outer corner, which we're going to bring that one quite low down. And just make sure with this one that you buff the 
bottom into the top just so it all marries up. And then I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend out that outer edge and underneath just so everything's nice and fused out and there's no solid lines anywhere. So looking slightly less crazy, now we've got something on our lower line, lash line. Um, we're going to go in with um, eyeliner now. I'm going to go in with waterline and um, tightline first. Again, this can be any colour that you wish. So for tightline, look down at your mirror, open your eyes, and you just want to go on that little bit of lid that is exposed under your lashes. And it really tickles I will warn you now <laughs> but this makes your eyelashes look a lot deeper and a lot fuller and it is a really nice trick especially if you're not wanting to wear lashes I am wearing lashes today um, but if you're not wearing lashes it's a good step to make your lashes look a lot more impactful so, and then I'm just going to do the same on the waterline on the underneath. You may find this easier to gently pull down your eye, um, but I always use a handheld mirror, <laughs> so I just slowly work through. And then once you finish that, just go slightly into that lash line. And then with that original brush that you did your under eye with, just blend that out. And this will stop any harsh lines between the lash line and what you've done on the underneath. Now you can leave a liner off your top lid if you wish. It's completely up to you. It's not. <laughs> one of those things that you have to do for the particular look I am personally going to do it and um, so I've got a liquid liner just make sure you wipe that bit of plastic just under your tip because that sometimes gets eyeliner on it and then it can transfer into places you don't want it to go so I'm going to take my pen on the edge of my nostril I'm going to line it up so that plastic bit is against my lower lash line and then I'm just going to stamp it and then we're just going to copy it on the other side. And then we are going to work from the outer corner and then do the same on the other side. And then we're going to go from the top and just pull it down as thick as you want it. Now I have slightly hooded eyes so I like to do that outside corner and then just fade it into my lash line just like that and then we just copy it on the outside and that just means that the actual pretty shimmer that I've put on is what is visible and um, otherwise it's mainly the black eyeliner that you see And then I always like to uh, do a little flick on the inner corner as well. So I'm just going to bring this liner down, got to get really into that lash line. And then as we get to the tear duct, I'm just going to extend it out ever so slightly. And if you start small, if something does mess up and you need to make it bigger, you've got a lot more to work with. So once you're happy, we're just going to apply some mascara. 
And then to get mascara right into the inner corner of your lashes, I like to come over from the opposite side and then just slightly go into those lashes. Then I always like to go in with two coats on the mascara. If you see, I have smudged a little bit of mascara in uh, my eyelid. Just leave it and let it dry and then it just scrapes off with your fingernail. So if you can hear a load of background noise, um, there's some like building or something going on and or like DIY or something and my chickens are terrified. <laughs> so um, they're squawking a little bit. So sorry if you can hear that. So yeah, I'm just going to scrape off any little smudges. I'm personally going to be putting lashes on today. I just it's my personal preference. I wear lashes a lot anyway, but especially when the look is a bit more dramatic, which is why I've not spent too much um, attention to my mascara because uh, I just wanted the lashes black. So all I'm doing is just popping some glue on my lash. Um, I like to make it fairly even, but I do put an extra little bit on the outer corner and the inner corner just because I think they're the bits that tend to struggle. And I'm just going to give that a good 30 seconds to a, a minute um, just to let the glue go really tacky. I find when people struggle with lashes, the main issue is not letting that glue get tacky enough. Um, so we're going to give it a good while. Um, so I'm just going to pause the recording um, to get that done and I'll be back in a second. So once your glue is tacky, uh, we're going to apply it. What I like to do is have it to my lash line up until we get to where the wing is and then I like to slightly raise it up and it just gives that more snatched out um, look. I've never applied lashes on camera. <laughs> I'm very, very scared. I'm not the best at them. I've only just learned to do them um, like in the last year on myself. Uh, so just bear with me but um yeah we're gonna look down at our mirror and um, just so we can see the lash line a lot better and um we're gonna anchor it in place in the middle to start and then we're gonna press it into where we want it to lie and at the end i'm then gonna nip it into my lash line with my nails you can use tweezers i just don't trust myself with metal objects around my eyes <laughs> so it's just a personal preference so yeah we're just gonna look down and we're just gonna lay it in place where we want it and then as i say raise that corner up slightly and then nip them into place. Your glue will still look white at the moment. You don't need to worry about that. It will dry down clear. But as you nip it, you just kind of want to flick the lash band down and the lash up just so you don't get that droopy look. So I'm just going to do the same on the other eye and I'll be back in a second. Now, as I said, the lash glue will dry clear, but I like to just go along the edges just to make sure. And also it just helps any gaps that might be on the lash as well. So I just follow the line down where my lashes have been applied and then in this outer corner I just make sure that that line that we did into the tear duct joins up with the actual lashes so that we don't have a gap. So now everything's dry we're just going to push the lashes up to make sure we've not got any droopiness and then we're going to apply some more mascara um just really to the natural lashes uh but it's just so everything kind of interlocks so that's my completed look so i'll just give you a close-up i hope everything made sense i hope you like the look i'll leave all of my makeup 
down below that I've used today. The palettes and also the base makeup. Um, just in case you're interested at all and i hope you like it let me know down below what you think if you've got any other questions let me know if this was what you was looking for i hope so uh, but if not and it was the full um crease cut let me know as well don't forget to like and subscribe and if you hit the notification bell it'll just let you know every time that i upload and as always thank you for joining me enjoy your day bye